Hey guys, today I'll be talking about my favorite books again. Oh, what an exciting life. Today I'm going to be shining the light on my favorite author of all times and telling the whole booktube what they've been missing out on and why they should hop on and meet up and like right away. So let's just get started, shall we? Well, you're probably wondering, Catherine, why are you so hyped up about Mitch Album? Who is Mitch Album? What is Mitch Album? What is he writing? Why we should love him and read him? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I came upon Mitch Album when I went to the Moscow Youth Conference for future American students and um, our supervisor was very kind enough to bring all those books so while we have some time off for the conference and some free time where you are able to you know read books and there were many books and I was like I do not recognize anything I love reading but I didn't I wasn't really obsessed with reading like it wasn't a necessity in my life to read in books um, until we chop. It was an old copy of Five People You Meet in Heaven and I haven't started reading it actually until I came back home and uh, was back to school and I needed some English in my life. So English is not my native language as you probably can hear it and so it was really hard to understand everything in that book but even though I struggled with understanding some of the parts, I loved the book. That book amazed me so much that I decided to write my final uh, literature paper on and my teacher was so disappointed with me picking up this book. He said, this book is not gonna work because it's not classic, it doesn't reflect on anything. And I said, you are so wrong, this is such a good book. I, I don't want to choose any other book because this book had the biggest imprint on my life than any other book I've ever read. So he graded me a really fine grade and I was really happy. So Mitch Album writes pretty much non-fiction and novels based on true story. Um, something that he experienced in his life or people that he met in, and he got really inspired by those stories. So his books are so true and relatable and honest and inspiring and so great to read. So can you imagine my camera is dying and I forgot to turn on my mic. So let's start with the first book I ever read by Mitch Album is The Five People You Meet in Heaven and actually let's talk about the sequel which is The Next Person You Meet in Heaven. I talked about this books more in my previous video which is 2019 best books of the year. This one follows the guy named Eddie who dies in the first chapter but it's his story going to heaven and meeting five people. He thought that he, his life was pointless and useless and he's completely depressed until he meets those five people and they tell him that his life wasn't pointless, that he affected them in many ways and um, it just changes his perspective. As well as the sequel, it follows the girl named Annie who was involved in the accident of, in the first book and um, it's her story you know of life and her going to heaven and, and you know meeting those five people as well it's great books i highly recommend i mean they're wonderful start with this one continue with this one hop on on the train the next um book that i would actually recommend to start with if you like non-fiction more or like life lesson story is the tuesdays with maury and this one follows the his college professor who gets sick with als Mitch Album and him meeting every Tuesday and Mori asks Mitch Album to write a book about his life lessons and this is exact, exactly what he does, it's a true story. Mori was actually on television um, teaching people and generations about his sickness and what it means um, to live a full life. And he also writes a book which, which called Letting Go. This is just his perspective of even though I'm dying, I'm still living, I'm still not stopping, you know, explore stuff and learn new stuff and it's really he's a really amazing person i highly recommend you read tuesdays with worry you'll be in love even my husband who like doesn't really read any books he read it and cried and was in love with Mori so much highly recommend the next book we're going to talk about is have a little faith this is a true story about um mitch album's rabbi from the old town who asks him to deliver his eulogy when he dies and so Mitch Album gets perplexed with the request, but he decides that he wants to know the pastor better before he gets to do the task. You know, the pastor's still alive, so 
<laughs> really good to mention. And it also follows the story of the pastor from the Detroit that Mitch album kind of currently goes to. And it's, you know, pastor's story about him being involved with the drugs and just how he came to be a pastor. And it's just a great faithful story that teaches you a lot about faith and religion, but at the same time, a lot about life lessons. Again, it's if you're a Christian, you would love this. If you're not Christian, you would still love this. <laughs> I'm not the same like religion as any of those, but I still was. It was still really relatable and nice, and highly recommend this one. I'm sorry I'm running so fast through the books because my camera is dying. So better finish this fast. Okay, so let's turn into Mitch Album's fiction side of writing. So the first one is For One More Day. This follows um, a man who lost his mother and he gets to have one more chance to spend a day with her. And it's just really great family dynamics between mother and son and their story and how it's precious. You know, some people give their lives and everything to see their loved ones for one more time. And it's such a heartbreaking story. I highly recommend this one if you like, you know, more real life relationship so stories. This is great. Another book that is quite famous in Mitch Albom's uh, writing is The First Phone Call from Heaven. This one follows, well, guess what? There's phone calls from heaven. <laughs> Six or five people get phone calls and they get perplexed because they're like, is it real? Is it fake? Is it a hoax? What's happening? The world gets to know that there are phone calls from heaven and everybody gets kind of like involved and in trying to decide what is happening and they get broadcasted and, and stuff like that. And it's just, uh, what I loved about this book is that Mitch album really gives you the story and gives you hope and it takes it away and then gives you back. <laughs> It's just really nice and he messes up with you and it's just, it's just great. Read this one. It, it, it's not a lot about being spiritual or religious. This one is more about, you know, what if. Now, this one is the timekeeper. Um, this one is about the man who was the first timekeeper ever. I don't think it's a real story though. Um, and he gets banished into the cave to you know, spend his eternity there until he gets a chance to influence one of you know, earthly people's lives. This book answers one of the most important questions the humanity can ever ask is why do we get to live the amount of time we get to live? Why do humans live certain amount of years and not more or not less? And this book answers it perfectly. It's so, again, inspiring and great and wonderful. <laughs> it follows about this old man that tries to live longer than he should and about the young girl who is trying to take her own life. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's a wonderful concept with awesome answers. I read this, this is great. And now we're gonna talk about two books, the only two books that I have not read by Mitch Albom. And here's the thing. I'm not in a hurry to read them because Mitch Album doesn't publish so often. The few previous years he published two books in two years, which was amazing, but he usually doesn't publish that often. So his books are priceless. They're like a treat for me. If I'm in a reading slam, like that's what I'm leaving those books for. Um, and you know what? I'm not sad because when I'm done with reading all of his books, I'm gonna start reading them because there's so much to gain from all of his books. Okay, so the first one is The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto. I'm not sure what this book is about, but I bet it's about like music and magic of music and, you know, life stories and life goals. <laughs> I just cannot wait to read it. I'm actually pl planning on reading this this year, 2020, so get excited for that. Let's discuss this book, I cannot wait. And another book that I haven't read that just came out previous year is Finding Chica. This is actually non-fiction about Mitch Albom's uh, story of adoption, I believe. I believe that they adopted a girl from like Africa or something like that, um, which is like amazing. And it's just their adoption story, I guess, and how they found, found this girl, how they took her home and gave her home. I think, I might be wrong, don't quote me on that, I haven't read the book, but 
it promises to be great he has his instagram full of photos of uh, her little girl of his little girl and so it's she's so precious okay thank you so much guys for watching my camera is gonna die i think it died so many times it changed the records i'm so sorry i appreciate if you would go and read some each album and tell me what you thought and um, okay i love you i love each album we love each album all right bye